sprawdzenie wykważ, zaraz wam bom powiedę, zgodbo o piko dinozaurz. <laughs> Just kidding, everyone. Hello, everyone. Today I'll tell you a story about piko dinosaurs. One day, there was a young boy named Benjamin who really wanted a puppy. One that he could take for a walk and show it to his friends to play with. But his parents, they always disapproved, and this made him cry. And so every day and every night, he cried, and he didn't realize that every tear he cried created something he never thought could be done. And so one day, his wish came true, but he didn't get a dog. Instead, a yellow big dinosaur came out of the blue. <gasps> wow! He said, as he couldn't believe what came upon him. He went near the dinosaur to give it a friendly pat. But then the dinosaur swooshed him over. Benjamin laughed and gave the dinosaur a smile, for it looked like it smiled back at him. And so he hurriedly went down again to think of what to name it. Aha! Pico! I hereby name you Pico. Pico Dinosaurs. The dinosaur gave a gentle roar. I'm Benjamin, and from now on, we will remain friends until eternity. He named it Pico, for he was more than happy that he couldn't wait to get out of the house and take Pico a walk. While they were walking, Pico grabbed Benjamin by his tail and let him sit on his back. Benjamin was so filled with joy. Pico hurriedly ran to a fruit store. That's where Pico saw lots of fruits, so he ate them all. While eating and after eating, Benjamin just laughed at the scene. Nobody dared to complain, for everyone was terrified because of the dinosaur's size. But nonetheless, Benjamin loved it, for it was beautiful in his eyes. He hugged Pico Dinosaur, and they continued their adventure. But before they could get out of town center, he went back because he could see a few people chasing them. Couch Michelis, Benjamin. Tuje dinosaur. What are you thinking, Benjamin? This is a dinosaur, they cried. Lepuche, he said while hugging Pico Dinosaur. It's beautiful, he replied. And so he ignored them and they continued wandering off. When they arrived at City Park, children were playing. They were scared of Pico at first, but when they saw Benjamin happily coming down from its tail, the children joined their fun, and they were all playing together. After they had fun, Pico lay down to rest. Thank you so much, Pico, for today. I really had fun. You know what, Pico? I don't have a sister or a brother. But with you by my side, I feel like everything's gonna be alright. And with that, I promise to take care of you and I will never let anything bad happen to you. And with that, the dinosaur swooshed him over again to let Benjamin sit on his back. I love you, Pico. And then they continued their journey together. While strolling down the streets, Benjamin found his friends. And so he happily went down to introduce Pico to them. But to his surprise, his friends didn't come near him or to Pico, for they were all terrified to see the dinosaur. And as the children ran away, Pico ran towards a tree. And so, Pico ate all the leaves from the trees. And then, Benjamin's friends made fun of the dinosaur for eating dirt. But, Benjamin didn't mind this at all. He didn't mind what people said, for he was more than proud to have Pico beside him as his only friend. Don't mind them, Pico. I'm sure you're hungry. Please eat more. And as they were walking, they noticed the sunset and it was so beautiful. And Benjamin felt so happy that he felt like he was in the heavens above. 
While talking, Benjamin whispered something into Pico's ear. Pico, before, all I ever wanted was a dog. But now, I don't want a dog anymore. All I want is you, Pico. And then, he slid down its tail to give the dinosaur a proper hug on its front. And the dinosaur put down his head to hug Benjamin too. Benjamin didn't realize the time that he was slowly dozing off. While they were sleeping, the people began to gather around Pico and told him of what their intentions were with the dinosaur, and because of all of the fuss, just woken up, including Pico. Wow! Pico, it's late already. We should get home now. Then they were almost near their destination. Look, Pico, that's my home! Little did they know, a small crowd was following them in the middle of the night. Then, as they arrived, Pico happily went down the dinosaur's tail. Mom! Dad! It's me! Benjamin! Open up! Kaj Michis, Benjamin! Tojid Mazaber! What are you thinking, Benjamin? This is a dinosaur! Benjamin's family cried. I think it's beautiful! Lepuje! It might eat us. What? No, Pico won't. Pico? Yes, meet Pico, my friend. He tried to defend Pico, but his family didn't want the dinosaur around. Benjamin's family were so frightened that they decided to give him a puppy. They thought it might change his mind and leave Pico. We'll give you a puppy if you surrender Pico to us. No, I don't want a dog anymore. All I want is Pico. Then, the dinosaur ran, and Benjamin ran after it. Oh, there you are, Pico. Please don't leave me. Then he cried, and this made the dinosaur sad. And so Pico showed him a few tricks to make him happy. <laughs> that was funny, Pico. Thank you. Benjamin then felt relieved and happy that he soon became sleepy. Then he whispered something to Pico. Tomorrow, Pico, we're gonna climb the mountains and reach the skies. Yes, tomorrow is going to be greater than today. The morning came fast, and when Benjamin tried to open his eyes, he cried. Pico, where are you? Pico, he looked everywhere, but Pico Dinosaur was no longer there. Oh no! He ran towards the city and everywhere that they went together yesterday, but he still couldn't find the dinosaur, even though he tried shouting its name. Pico! Pico! Where are you? Hi, have you seen my dinosaur? He tried asking everyone that he could meet on the street, but no one would tell him. Then suddenly, Benjamin saw Pico standing in a museum. <gasps> Pico! As he entered, <gasps> Pico Dinosaur stood still quietly and motionless in the middle of the great hall. Pico, is that you? And no matter what Benjamin did, he would not move at all. A man then approached Benjamin and told him that Pico was tired from the long and arduous journey that he should visit him again the next day. But why? But I told Pico we were gonna have fun today. Sometimes, kid, things don't go our way. But I promised Pico Sometimes, kid, promises get broken. What? Pico? Pico? Benjamin looked up again at the dinosaur, who was still motionless, and he hugged him. Don't worry, Pico. I'll visit you tomorrow, and tomorrow is going to be a great day, greater than today.
I promise. Smoke and drink, drink. Upam desh desh na chili. Have pleasure, Auckland. Just kidding. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you all learned something. Thanks for watching.